Welcome to VTTV News. I'm Ryan McCarthy. Business Professionals of America is a nationwide organization that contributes to the preparation of young students by emphasizing the importance of leadership, academics, and career skills. Reporter Samantha Massey interviewed members from a local BPA chapter on how they give back to their local community. Thanks, Ryan. BPA members have the opportunity to volunteer with their local chapter in order to help improve their community. I met with some BPA members at the Bears Care event to see how volunteering has affected them. A prominent event in the BPA local community is Bears Care, a program run by the GNBVT chapter. Members collect donations, buy bears, and then donate them to children in need during the holiday season. We collect money um, from donations, and then we buy bears, and we bring them to local shelters, police stations, and hospitals. There are many ways to contribute to this service to benefit the greater community. We raise money for Bears Care by going to different school events, such as like our open house and our craft fair. The contributions from the community go directly into funding the materials needed to make the bears for the children. We decorate them and put business cards on them, so if any child or family feels like they need to reach out to us, they can. This community service not only impacts the children who are receiving these bears, but also the students. Um, my favorite part about the service is being able to spread holiday cheer to kids in need. Members of BPA are able to appreciate the importance of service in their community, no matter what time of the year. BPA members should value the collaboration between them and their community because BPA is not just a school program. BPA can be used to benefit the community. By volunteering and growing a bond with each other, BPA members gain the experiences and skills necessary to become the next generation of business professionals of America. Thank you, Sam, for that informative piece about BPA. Now, reporter Abigail Ruda is live in Brockton, Massachusetts at the Family and Community Resources event, Walk for Survivor Safety. Abby? Thanks, Ryan. The 2019 Walk for Survivor Safety is run by the Center for Family and Community Resources. This event helps families and individuals whose lives have been impacted by domestic abuse. We had the opportunity to meet with some of these people. The Center for Family and Community Resources provides services for those impacted by trauma. This organization strives to provide assistance and a safe space for domestic abuse survivors. Family and Community Resources Walk for Safety is everything to somebody that may be driving by, that may be affected by this issue, and doesn't know that others support them. Pat Keheller, president and CEO of FCR, has been involved with this organization since the beginning. This organization has affected my life for almost 29 years now. There was no domestic violence program, um, and it has grown enormously since then. A prominent advocate for this organization, Mayor Moses Rodriguez, joined the walk to promote awareness regarding domestic abuse. The FCR has been a, a staple in our community. Uh, it has grown over the years uh, to what it is now, and I, I see it getting larger. People who are struggling everywhere should know that there are people who are willing to be there for them. They can be supportive. We all may know somebody that is in an unhealthy relationship or in need of mental health services. Being supportive and listening and being non-judgmental is one of the most important things that you can do for somebody. Everyone who participated in this walk has a resounding message to those struggling with domestic abuse. My message to anybody who's struggling with domestic violence or you know, family violence, sexual violence, is that they're not alone. And when you're ready, please come and get some services and know that it's not your fault what happened. And That uh, help uh, is not far away and they should seek out help. Whether or not you decide to come to the walk next year, the year after, the year after that, always know that there is help available. The 2019 Walk for Survivor Safety Against Domestic Violence has helped families and individuals whose lives have been impacted by trauma that has been caused either by violence at home, school, or in their community. This organization has been able to provide a safe space to these survivors and their families. Thanks, Abby, for that inspiring story and our regards to those impacted by domestic violence. Thank you for joining us on this edition of VTTV News. Until next time, 